Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Scorpio. So if you're a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Scorpio, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Rose can get reversed, so take how it resonates. The tower will be dealing with another Scorpio. This person definitely sees you as someone like you are ignoring them right now. Look at that four of cups and seven of wands. The reason you could be ignoring is because you have options with the two of wands or you have some plans of your own. You are planning your future. You're planning your life and you are not so sure about them. That's why you're not including them in your plans here. For some of you, this person really thinks that you are very pessimistic about this connection about uh, them. With the tower here, this could represent the separation that happened between the both of you. For the others of you, this tower represents that this person sees you as someone who's changing, who has changed, who have, who have been changing for a while, or who, who is going through these major changes here. And one of those changes is you planning your future, you planning stuff for yourself, and not including them in your plans. It's very possible in the past, whenever you planned something, you, they were always included in your plans. Like, they were a very important part of your life, but you're not treating them as that important part of your life anymore. You're much more in the selfish energy. You're choosing things for yourself here with the seven of wands. This person also uses someone who's very guarded and defensive. Could be stubbornness as well. You are fixed water. So this person sees you as someone who's being stubborn as well. High Priestess, Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, yeah. Justice in reverse at the bottom of the deck and the Hermit could be dealing with Libra, Virgo. This person feels like you are being very unfair with them. You see you as someone who's being very unfair with them. For some of you, this person also sees you as someone who's hiding. Definitely, we have the High Priestess and the Justice in reverse. You're hiding something or you're lying about something here. Yeah, high priest, wow, well, high priestess and the eight of wands, you are withholding communication. You are blocking them, you are giving them the silent treatment on purpose here. Which is making this person feel you are very you are being unfair with them. That's not fair. Yeah, seven of pentacles. You're more focused on like you are choosing and selecting who and what you should be investing in. You are choosing that. Three of Cups. Well, they definitely want a reunion with you. They want to be with you again. They want to uh, celebrate with you. It's really hurting this person that you are being selfish or you are just choosing yourself or choosing what is best for you. It is bothering this person. It is hurting this person. Like, like how could you do this? How could you be selfish? This person definitely feels like you are hiding something from them. Could be that you have other options you are looking into as well, but you are not telling them that.
world lovers knight of wands bottom of the deck is sun could be dealing with leo scorpio aquarius taurus gemini okay yeah they feel a strong connection with you with the lovers they see you as her soulmate. They want this balanced kind of connection, relationship with you. They have been thinking about this. With the world here, this person just wants to begin a new chapter here. Let go of the past and begin a new chapter. Have something new here. This person might have been someone with the Knight of Wands who didn't come across very serious to you in the past. This person might have come across as like a player kind of energy. Someone who's hot and cold, someone who is um, not very serious about relationships, someone who's being very immature, someone who doesn't have any plans of the future. They're just doing whatever they feel like, feel like doing. They're letting life happen to them, sort of an energy. But that could be one of the reasons why you... Um, separation happened between the both of you and you are not including this person in your future plans because you feel like this is the kind of person who will not uh, understand your plans they will not understand where you're coming from they don't understand they don't have any plans for themselves so how will they appreciate or understand the plans you, you what you are planning for your life or what you want to manifest what you want to achieve your dreams how would they understand that And this person feels like you are judging them for that. You are being too harsh. You are being too judgmental. You are being too selfish here. It's like they, they th uh, this person is feeling like you are not giving them a fair chance or you're not hearing them out. That's how this person is feeling. I'm not saying you haven't heard them out, but it's like you don't see this person seriously and this person is thinking that that's unfair and you are judging them. Excuse me, bless you. Um, okay. Even though this person might have given you reasons to make you believe that they are not really serious, but it's like they are feeling very hurt here that you are judging them. Two of Swords. The star at the bottom of the deck, reading with an Aquarius, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're definitely holding back from this person. Okay, I want to see first how you are viewing them. I don't know why I first saw the feelings. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. Ooh, look at that. Ace of Cups and Two of Cups. You do have feelings for this person. Even though you are closed off, you're holding back from this person, you're not including in their plans, you have feelings for this person. And this person has feelings for you as well. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Eight of Cups and the Moon at the bottom of the deck. Pisces, Cancer. You think this person is hiding stuff from you? They have hidden stuff from you. They are hiding stuff from you. They are there's some sort of confusion, illusion this person is creating. This person, in more than one occasion with the Eight of Cups, might have. Uh, you know, like seemed someone who like 
when things get serious they want to run away they don't want something serious when things get so when things get serious they want to run away it's very possible this person caught feelings for you and they have they became distant so you see them as someone who has abandoned this connection maybe left you suddenly ghosted you So you don't trust this person basically with the moon here you don't trust this person and that's why you're closed off two of swords okay let's clarify that Emperor, Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Feel like this person is not someone who's very balanced or they could have had other options. They were juggling you with someone else. Emperor and the Knight of Cups. Hmm. You're dealing with an Aries. You see this person as someone who's very charming. And they might have tried to come across as someone who's very serious, but eventually you figured out or found out that this person is not very really serious. They, they do have other options. They are not telling you the truth. They are keeping things from you. This person might have come across as someone like they, they have their own plans and they don't want to listen to you. Very stubborn, very like fixed in their ways and they don't want to listen to you. This is what I want and this is how it has to be. They want you, but they want you on their own terms, how they want you. So yeah. And also with the two of pentacles, definitely for some of you, you see this person as someone who, when things get serious, they try to run away. They try to block their emotions. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, Nine of Cups. Yeah, you got it. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. You're emotionally guarded. Two of Swords and the Seven of Wands. You really don't trust this person. You are not very sure about this person. You might have feelings for this person since we did have the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. But this person has given you reasons to not really just completely blindly, like they have given you reasons to not completely blindly trust them. So you haven't been able to completely trust this person. You want equal give and take in a connection and you feel like there's no equal give and take in this connection. You are looking for stability and collaboration. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for stability, but somehow you feel like this person has not been able to give you that stability. In fact, they have been very unstable or unpredictable here with the Knight of Wands. Hmm. 
nine of cups. So you're choosing your own happiness. You're standing your ground here with the seven of wands. This is what I want. This is what I, I'm looking for. And, and if you can't give me that, please stay away from me. You're pushing this person away. Energetically. This, this, this feels like something that is happening energetically here. Some of you feel like this person really doesn't, like you are trying to respect yourself here, respect your boundaries. And you feel like this person can't give you the same or do the same. I'm not going to take that. Some of this energy of this person wants to be treated like, like a king sort of a thing or a queen sort of a thing. But this person is not treating you the same way. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You just saw the Queen of Pentacles upright here in your energy, but here it's in reverse. No wonder I got that energy of Queen of that someone who this is someone who doesn't. They are very selfish. They want to be treated like a king and queen, king or a queen, but they are not treating you the same way. Not to mention with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This person is someone who is, they don't have any vision of the future. They don't know what they are doing in life. They seem very confused. They seem very all over the place. They could be very charming, but and very, it might come across as someone who's very confident, but they're not really, their actions don't match those vibe they are trying to create. This person is trying to create the vibe of someone who's secure, someone who is sure of themselves, someone who has a plan. But their actions are showing otherwise completely. So you don't trust them. Ace of Cups, Four of Cups, Justice in Reverse. Okay, so Justice in Reverse did come out. This person is not doing you justice. That's, that's definitely plain and simple here. Scales are imbalanced. Yes, yeah, somehow this feels like with the Ace of Cups and the Four of Cups, Literally, it feels like the Ace of Cups is coming from your side here, right? So this person wants to give, wants you to give to them. They want you to fill their cup of love. Be with them no matter what. But they are not doing justice to you. With the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and justice in reverse, this person is lying. They are lying. So your intuition is right. If you have felt like this person is trying to create illusions, they are lying about something, then this person is lying. And what they're lying about is going to be different for different people, but they are lying about their intentions here. They can't give you the equal give and take. This person might not be even looking for something serious here. And it's not even looking for, it's like they're not ready for something serious. They don't have it in them to... 
be in a serious commitment or relationship right now. They don't have it in them. This person could be faking it. They could be pretending it. But I think you caught up to that. You caught up to the fact that this person is faking or pretending to be serious. But they're not in reality. Okay, I can't even see that. The fool could be dealing with Aries, Aquarius, Five of Cups, and the Devil. Could be dealing. Uh, this is the Devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You don't want to be stuck in a place, in a situation, in a connection, relationship where it's like it's just disappointing for you. This connection has been extremely disappointing for you. Eight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Strength could be dealing with the Leo Seven of Cups here. You feel very confused with this person here. You just don't know what to think or what to believe with this person. You do know, like your gutter intuition has been pointing out to something here, but it's like this person is confusing you more, or they have confused you more. You could be dealing with a Leo, if I didn't already mention that. You strongly know and believe what you want, what you deserve. You know that. You don't want to be stuck in a situation. You want a relationship, a commitment. And what it feels like for some of you, you feel like this person can only give you a situation. They can't give you the commitment or relationship. You really, really, truly want a commitment or relationship. Ten of Pentacles kind. You're looking for loyalty. You're looking for stability. You're looking for someone with whom you can build. Someone who has a vision of the future, a similar vision of the future as you do. So for some of you, even though this person is a very strong temptation for you, you are trying to hold back from this person here. Because you feel like this person cannot give you the relationship, the commitment you are truly looking for or deserve. We definitely want a new beginning since we do have the Ace of Cups here. Some of you, this person does come across as someone who's very 
uh, stubborn. There's a lot of stubbornness with this person. There's a lot of ego with this person here. And that's the reason why this person just can't handle you ignoring them or you not giving to them, you not prioritizing them, you prioritizing yourself. You planning your life, your future without them. This person wants to be included in your future. They want to be included in your plans on their own terms. King of Cups, ooh, Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. But see, the Queen of Swords in reverse. That's what I don't like. That's the thing with this person here. I'm not saying this person isn't a horrible, bad person altogether, or they don't have feelings for you, since we do have the Ace of Cups in their true intentions and the King of Cups in their actions. They do have feelings for you. But the Queen of Swords is in reverse. They're lying. For some of you, this person will lie, come back and lie to you that they are ready to give you what you want. But as soon as they have you back in the life, it will just fall back to you asking for commitment, you asking for, um, asking for the truth from this person and this person not giving you. They're confusing you. Because Page of Cups and the Queen of Swords in reverse. For some of you, this person is definitely going to apologize to you. They are going to apologize to you. But the Queen of Swords is in reverse here. This person, for some of you, they could have lied about a third party as well here. They could have lied about a third party. Another person, that is. Yeah, this person has feelings for you and they will apologize for some of you. But I, this is that energy of someone who doesn't know what they're apologizing for. Or an apologizing just means like them saying sorry, but them not changing. That apology is of no value. Someone who is just apologizing because they're supposed to and they're not actually changing, that apology is of no value. It's just a word. Sorry. It doesn't mean anything. All right. Of swords in reverse here. Someone will definitely talk, open their mouth. If uh, you are giving this person the silent treatment, they will open. They will come forward. Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles was already here. Six of Swords in reverse. This person can't walk away from you. They can't move on from you. Mm. this person will talk to you but you know already what you want so if you strongly feel and believe and you know this person cannot give you what you want or this person is lying to you they want you back but they're lying to you about them not being able to give you what you deserve or want then don't give this person another chance You know what you already want. Don't let this person confuse you. Hmm. I don't know if we... If we will ever change. It's like this person. I don't think this. Uh, I'm not getting the energy of someone who's ready for change here. 
Yeah, it's almost like this person doesn't understand you or they don't understand your side, where you're coming from. This person doesn't understand that. I have never felt a passion this intense chemistry. Well, I definitely want you. Shadow side, you made me realize my flaws. Mm. This person does understand that you both are looking for different things here. They do understand this part. But they don't understand wh what you are looking for exactly, why you are looking for that. They don't understand that. And it's very possible the reason they don't understand is because they simply don't want to. They are not ready for it, so they don't want to understand what you want. This is like someone who is like very focused on what they want. How they want it. The way you love can never be matched. That's one of the reasons why this person really wants you back. I didn't act when I should have. Yeah, this, for some of you, this is going to be a missed opportunity because there is a strong connection here. There is a possibility of something good coming out of this. But if this person is not willing to give you, is will, not willing to show up the way you want them to, or like they give you what you deserve and what you want, if they're not ready for that, then this is going to become a missed opportunity. Because two of cups, ace of cups lovers, there is love here on both of your sides. But yeah. Yeah, see, escape. I left when things got hard. This is someone who runs away. Dishonesty. You're lying. This person is, for some of you, that's the thing. They ran away when they caught feelings. Yeah, look at that. Facing it. You know something isn't right. Don't be afraid to find out the truth. It will set you free. And look at that. Below that is a secret, secret past. Skeletons in the closet not telling the whole story. This person is lying. They are lying about something or the other here. And it's going to be different for different people. Whether it's their intentions, whether um, their past or their something. Deadly combo. It's like both of you uh, together, you don't really are not compatible with each other. That's what I'm getting for some of you. Like, you, I'm not saying you both are bad people, but together you are not really compatible here. That's the energy I'm getting for some of you. Well, that's your reading. Scorpio, I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.